Hey guys, got a question about the about food intake and muscle building. Is there any scientific backing to show that increasing your food definitely increases the rate or size of muscle building? I'm going to talk about that in a second. Before I do, guys, I encourage you to stick around to the end of this video. Find out how you can reach me with your questions and or comments. Now, the question is, um, is there any scientific... Uh, evidence or research to show that eating or bulking increases the rate of muscle development. Yes, there is. I'm not a science guy, but I have read some of the studies. I want to talk about one study in specific in this video because I, I believe it's a very telling study. Um, I'm going to link an interaction between me and Dr. Casey Butt below um, where we reference a study and you can do more research on your own. But basically, here's the deal. They looked at sumo wrestlers, untrained sumo wrestlers or sumo wrestlers who didn't lift weights. They looked at their lean body mass, so you know, analyzing how much muscle tissue they had. They compared the sumo wrestlers to the uh, like the average natural bodybuilder and found out they had about the same amount of muscle tissue. So I don't want to split hairs over who had more and if it's possible just to build a bodybuilder physique, you know, with, uh, without training at all. The, the, the point of this study, the big point, and the one I want you to focus on, guys, is that you have a group of guys that did nothing but eat, and they gained the same amount of muscle tissue as the guys who spent 10 to 15 years in the gym. About, okay? Shocker? Well, you know, that's, uh, what this shows is that Food intake is definitely anabolic in some sense. When you eat, when you overeat, your body's not just adding fat. That's a common misconception. You're also going to increase the size of your muscle tissue a little bit. Why this happens, I don't know. It could be from the extra burden of weight you're carrying around or other factors. I do know hormonally that it's a myth that when you overeat one calorie, your body instantly, you know, Puts, kicks into fat storage mode. Um, I believe there was some research that shows that when you overeat, it takes about a two-week period of time before your body fully kicks into fat storage mode. So during that time, you're probably, you know, what's, what is your body doing with these extra calories? Well, likely, there's a, there's a great uh, deal of likelihood that it's also increasing some of your muscle tissue size, amongst other things. So, the question was, is there any science that shows that increasing food builds muscle? Yes, the sumo wrestler study hints at that. Um, it shows us that you can add uh, muscle tissue just from eating and not training at all. So, am I telling you to eat like a sumo wrestler? No. What I am telling you to do is uh, devise a reasonable diet that allows you to add in some calories above and beyond what you normally eat, but that doesn't uh, lend itself to a lot of additional fat gain. Maybe about 500 calories additional per day or whatever. As long as you are gaining weight according to your goals. You don't want to try to eat 3,000 extra calories a day and gain 70 pounds of fat or 70 pounds in your first year lifting because you will not gain 70 pounds of muscle during that year. You're likely, most likely, to gain about 15 or 16 pounds of muscle your first year if you're doing everything right, unless you're underweight. So, if you're uh, if you're trying to uh, if you're if you're just starting out and you're trying to build muscle, your first year, you know, aim for about 15, 16 pounds of muscle. That's a really top end quality goal. Um, and uh, you you know you don't want to go out and gain 70 pounds in the process of adding 15 pounds of muscle. You will become fat. So you got to kind of dial in your diet, which I've talked about in other uh, other videos. So guys, I hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, guys, there is a link below to a forum Q&A. You can post your questions on strength training, muscle building, diet, nutrition, whatever in that Q&A. I'd be glad to answer your questions. The best questions I will take and make a video of like this. So, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.